The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome. Tonight on Game Shift, we have Hyper Universe, PES 2019, and Valkyria Chronicles 4. And I brought Blocks That Matter and Crypt of the Necrodancer. Join us. So uh, the first video I brought in is Hyper Universe. This just came out. It's a 2D like kind of platformer. Uh, there's some role play elements to it, um, and it's pretty good. I mean, I got six phalanges. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's like rated T for teen too. It's uh, you know, it's pretty good. It's it's uh, you can see my character here, and you just I, I think I you just randomly get a character at first. Um, and this is the character I got, but I mean the graphics are great. I, I'm sure when you get into it more, you know, it gets better and better. There's a good story to it, stuff like that. So uh, side scrolling, you can, you know, right now I'm just getting into a portal. I'm just reading what's going on. This is kind of the tutorial again, because I don't get so far into certain games where, you know, I get past the tutorial sometimes. I prioritize some other games. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, yeah, so this this is it looks good. The characters are well done. You, I think you can play multiplayer online up to like four or five players. I think I'm not sure, but it just keeps going. The levels are huge. Uh, lots of updates you can get through the, through the level stuff like that. So I'm just kind of running through the whole thing though. It's telling me how to break through the floor. <laughs> I don't read, so I can't figure it out. <laughs> That's all right. I'm trying. Ah, there you go. <laughs> now you get to fight. I think you were telling me about this. You can, uh, it's kind of like an RPG. You can upgrade your character's uh, stats and, and their weapons and their yeah. armor and all. And different different weapons allow you to do different moves. Different characters have different moves as well. I'm only in the tutorial, so I probably only have the one character. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty good. You can see they're all t uh, talking to you, telling you what to do. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Any game, multiplayer games like that are kind of cool, especially when you can play with people, like, you know, yeah. not even in your local area, all over the place. Yep, exactly. It's, nice. it's, it's fun. It's, you know, it's slow moving right now because it's just the demo, but it gets much faster as you go along. Um, you know, the enemies get bigger, badder, and stronger, and you got to update, up, update your character to, you know, kind of defeat them and get through the level. It's pretty good, though, for a... You know, it's free. <laughs> free, it's free. I get it. Xbox. Uh, Not even Xbox no, Gold. It's just, just a free. free. Game. Yeah, they're doing some free-to-play stuff on Xbox now. Hmm. So you just get it, and it's free. Wow, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Free, absolutely free. <laughs> absolutely free. You can buy these packs. You know, they always do that. Like, hmm. you know, you can get like, uh, you know, an extra pack. You can pay like twenty bucks, and you get all this better armor stuff like that. Like cosmetic stuff. Yeah. 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 But it doesn't change gameplay. Right. Well, it probably makes it the game a little easier because you get better armor. Oh, it's, it's better stats too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it does allow you to upgrade your character from the start. But the, the struggle is real, and that's what makes the game good. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes you have to struggle through the lower levels and get, you know, work for your armor. Yeah. I believe in that. Yeah, you can't <laughs> pay to win. That's, that's, right. that's practically cheating. Exactly. But they've been doing they've been doing a lot of uh, free to play stuff on Xbox lately. Like, uh, um, you know, my memory I can't remember some of the stuff, but I think I got like three or four games so far that are free to play. Oh wow! So, but you can always buy the packs. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, they gotta make money somehow. <laughs> yeah, the, um, is this the this is the boss here? I think coming up. The bosses are huge. So here we go. No, actually, now I have a group of. Of people, it, th these are just uh, NPCs. Though these aren't people I met online. These are just NPC characters they, they threw in for the demo. So now you you're learning how to fight with a group of people, and this is how it would work online as well. So you can see the, the boss seems a little easy though. <laughs> well, I mean it's just a demo, but yeah, just the training. 
Oh yeah, it's like easy, but we broke that. Now, now you meet these people again. It's cool. There's some act, some animation in the background. Was it like a spaceship launching or something? Yeah, it's or pretty or cool. Like they, they got a pretty good, pretty good effects going on, and good for a side scroller. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good. Another side scroller that's coming out soon. Final Fight Four. They and uh, huh. yeah, it's gonna be good. <laughs> I don't know if I played the others, but it could be good. Um, another one of the uh, little checkpoint, the boss checkpoint. Yeah, so this is, I think this is the final boss for this area. It's kind of getting, uh, it's kind of getting a whooping right now. Mm. <laughs> Has a, you got so many characters. I mean, there's so many, so much going on on screen at the same time. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of hard to keep track of your character too. So we beat them, now you get to go through the portal, break the portal. Oh, you're breaking the, uh, yeah, you're just breaking the, the save point there, I guess, to move on to the next level. Nice. Blocks that matter. Yeah, bro blocks that matter. <laughs> this, uh, it's been around for a little while, but it's a fun little puzzle game. Um, I struggled uh, more than I care to admit with trying to figure out what you got to do, <laughs> but uh, you basically go around um, and you collect, uh, you know, different, different, um, material blocks throughout the level and you have to use them to build and I guess you got to build uh, in four you know chunks of four um, or uh, it doesn't like you it doesn't stick so you have to have four blocks all the time and I try to keep all the blocks that way I can uh, move on without and you know I can have them if I need them later on which yeah, I guess you probably don't really need to do at least at this point but I figure it won't <laughs> hurt um, so the game starts out there's a little bit of a story involved there are these two game developers that are kidnapped and uh, um, the, uh, the people that kidnap them would like them to uh, you know show them their newest game but what they don't know is the game isn't a game at all it's actually this little robot that they <laughs> activate to go and try to save them <laughs> so that's uh, <laughs> that's what you're doing um, right now I'm I guess just trying like I said it took me a little while to figure out uh, what it's looking for you to do or you know how to <laughs> I didn't even know if I knew at this point you needed four blocks that took a little while <laughs> so I just started playing this for the first time it was a gift a long time ago but I, I like I recommend it I gave it uh, I think I gave it eight out of ten phalanges um, so it's it's a fun game uh, you'll see I think in a little while there's um, like kind of like a boss level that that reminded me a little bit of the Super Meat Boy levels where you're mm -hmm. running away from the uh, the baddie. You're not really fighting. You're you're kind of like running away, and you have to yeah. build things kind of quickly, or it'll catch you. <laughs> but you'll see that in a second. Um, I don't know. There's a block down. So you, so you have to build. You build the blocks in four, but then you can remove the blocks. Yep. To make it easier to get up to the next level. Yeah. So you can store them in case you need oh. them later on. I guess. Uh, I, I thought, you know, I'm thinking it's a puzzle game, so I will, uh, I'll keep as many as I can in case I need them to, to complete a, a task later on in the level. And I don't know if you get points. I don't think you get points for having extra. <laughs> but um, you just lost all your all your blocks at the end of that level. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know how to take out there's those. those uh, Is that Screech, the programming guy? He's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. There's the two programmers. <laughs> They're talking to us here. What are they saying? <laughs> oh, they had. They think they had. Um, they had uh, fake guns, I think, is what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, it's Toyex, made in China gun brand. <laughs> so they, they may have been kidnapped by some, uh, some um, not very good criminals. <laughs> uh, so this, like I said, it's the very beginning of the game. I'm not sure how long the game goes, but um, I, I enjoyed it. Um, what's, uh, yeah, I guess it's... I still don't know how to take out those purple and black <laughs> blocks. I have no idea. Um, this is single player. I know it's oh, they Oh, they fall. Yeah, so I can't get back that way now. Um, this, I think, was like 10 or $15 on Steam. Uh, it came published by Swing Swing Submarine. And I don't know if they've done a whole lot of other games to this point, but um, there, was a, there was one I haven't heard of, though. Yeah. I forget what it was called. Uh, but... It's, it looks like you might have to come back and maybe eventually you can unlock some sort of drill bit that allows you to to uh, take out the... Um... Oh, you can drop blocks on them too. Only certain ones. Those are like sand blocks, I guess. And you're able to drop them. Yeah. Or they, they'll fall down if you take what's underneath it out. Um, so. This looks like Spelunky too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're still waiting. Oh, I took some damage. <laughs> <laughs> We're still waiting for Spelunky 2. Haven't seen anything about it lately. No. I've been waiting. 
Yeah, I, I, I think Derek Yu came out with a, like a, a short, like, um, he wrote some information about what he thought it was going to be like, <laughs> or uh, uh, kind of talking about the, the um, development process, but we still don't know anything about gameplay. Some people theorize it might be... Um, oh, yeah, you got to run off here. Yeah. yeah, this is one of the, the first boss. I didn't even know they had these in the game. <laughs> so this was good. But, oh, man. Oh, well, it pauses the boss when you're making stuff. Yeah, it does. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's still kind of tough, but oh, I made it. Flex the blocks. I do die here. <laughs> so, you can no. just see that. Yeah, not quite yet, but I will. Um, actually, it looks... Uh, I have to figure out how to... Um, well, we'll see. I haven't, I haven't gone back to complete this level yet, but it's kind of like a little time crunch at the end. Even though he pauses, he still kind of catches up a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, now he's moving faster. Yeah, and this I, I screw up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it. Oh, Poor robot. What were you supposed to do? Do you get by it? I never go by it, actually. Oh. I should go back and, and uh, I'll let you guys know next time. <laughs> <laughs> this is PES 2019. And, um, you know, uh, it's between this game and soccer I mean uh yeah soccer FIFA <laughs> so FIFA 19 PES 19 this one you're getting uh, David Beckham mm -hmm. is coming back to soccer in this game oh it's <laughs> a little fiction <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he actually comes back but he's in the game so you can play as him um, yeah, but the game is, is good. Like, the controls are very good. Uh, I don't think I win. I don't know if I score because I can't figure out how to kick the ball because I don't read instructions. <laughs> I want the ball just when you kick it to go in the net. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just press one button. Go towards the net. A or B. <laughs> but this is di more difficult. Uh, the, the control. I'm not saying the controls are difficult. I just don't know how to play the game. But, uh, you know, I wanted people to check out the... the uh, the level of detail, the graphics, you know, um, uh, you know, if, if, if I didn't know any better, I would say that this was, in fact, you know, uh, FIFA 19. It looks great, you know, the characters look good, the, the, it even goes into these instant replays where you can see the characters up close and stuff like that. Mm. But I mean, the field of view is good, so you can see all the field, you see all, where all your players are, make some good passes, I mean, uh, you know, the game works well, it's just never has that that much of a high of a reputation as FIFA because mm. FIFA is what everybody knows is soccer so uh, I gave it a 9 um, FIFA good. always gets a 10 <laughs> <laughs> How it's, does it's really like FIFA is just EA you know it's like the Madden of soccer so yeah, it's the gold standard and what other games shoot to be yeah how does this compare price point to FIFA same price same bottom? Yeah. yeah but uh they give you a demo so you can try it out. I don't know if uh, FIFA usually has a demo as well. You could try them both and see which one you like the best. But mm. uh, PES, yeah, it's, it seems like it's, I mean, it's just as good, just as good, I would say. You know, the only thing is, is the, the graphics aren't as sharp. You know, FIFA just has everything. And then they're introducing like new ball play, stuff like that. The controls in FIFA are always incredible. And they're always, you know, making ad additions to the game. PES seems like it's uh, you know same same gameplay same stuff like that it hasn't changed much it's perfect you know as far as like you know it's perfect as far as a soccer game would go but you still have to upgrade the graphics you still have to put you know you have to put some innovation in there year after year and PES seems to just kind of stay the same mm -hmm. so so you just have different players you know but yeah. basically the same right the same same, same engine yeah uh, where FIFA is always like, hey, let's take it to the next level. What can we do? How can we control the ball better? What can we do to make the ball, like, uh, make shooting the ball feel like you're shooting it at a goal instead of just shooting towards the goal, you know? Um, I don't know. And then the zooming in of the characters, I don't know. You don't see it much here. There, there it is. Yeah. So it's here, too, but, you know, I lost. Well, oh. not yet. <laughs> zero to zero. You can tie in <laughs> soccer. <laughs> See, this stuff looks pretty good, like the replays and kickoffs and, you know, they'll show you close-ups of the penalties and when the guys 
tons of penalties and when they hang their head like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah the gravity it does look pretty good <laughs> um what about like weather effects or anything can it rain or uh i haven't experienced any i think it, i i'm not sure if it can hmm. um i should have checked on that but well, it's just curious yeah like, probably uh, how about fifa does fifa have anything like that i'm not sure either maybe this year who knows they're always doing something new mm. so still it's pretty oh this is an indoor field anyway so it doesn't really matter yeah <laughs> it's raining outside no <laughs> <laughs> the temperature's hot <laughs> yeah um so this is another one i brought crypt of the necro dancer it's another older game uh oh not older but it's it's not it's not new by any means came up by uh, brace yourself games with uh, help publishing it by uh Klee entertainment which makes um uh don't Starve, Don't Starve Together, um, I think they have a newer one, Oxygen Not Included, uh, so they helped them a little bit getting this published. Uh, the game's kind of funky, um, you can only move on the beats, so um, you're constantly <laughs> listening to the music, which is actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad soundtrack for like a little 8-bit game. Um, it's, it's like your standard roguelike dungeon crawler, you try to make it down to different levels, fight bosses at the end, make your way uh, to you know, the next zone. Um, you can fight the bosses, uh, or you can fight the enemies by attacking them. They're all a little different. You got to learn them. And there's um, uh, in like the menu screen, there are different. Uh, <laughs> you got a guy stuck to your head. Oh yeah, I died. <laughs> oh man, you're dying more than I do. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do so good. Um, but yeah, in the menu, you can actually go into one of those practice. One of those uh, staircases lets you practice all the enemies, so you can kind of experience them before you get to the dungeon. <laughs> It's got a shovel or something like that. Here's the shopkeeper. Um, I think it's Freddie Merchantry. <laughs> and he sings. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Freddie Merchantry. Yeah. So he, can do, he does some singing when the, during the, uh, the right parts <laughs> of the song if you're near him. Uh, it's, you know. So that's kind of cool. Um, like I said, the soundtrack is really good. I think I gave this uh, eight, uh, which may even be eight, eight and a half. Um, it's, uh, or a nine. It's a very good game. You can, as you can see, I'm kind of tunneling through the wall. Uh, I hope you guys can hear it okay. I don't know how my... Uh, uh, oh no! What is... I thought you're down to one heart. Oh yeah. No, I got, I got, I got some more. I got, I got some... I think I do okay in this run. Oh, all right. Uh, not, not great, but... Some people, they play this game, but you're uh, watching them play, it's... Um, you wonder how <laughs> they do it. <laughs> it gets really fast. Each level, the beats increase a little bit, so you're moving a lot faster. This is, uh, you know, level one. Um, and there's the bat boss thing. I think it does that kill me. I don't remember. Oh, you got like five hot. You're good. Yeah, I'm good. The more uh, the more enemies you hit without like missing a beat, you get a multiplier in your uh, in your in your score. So you get more <laughs> gold for each enemy. And there's the exit. But I, you know, like with any rogue, like you want to kind of collect everything you can from the level before you uh, make your way down. Um, I think uh, there is a timer. If you don't complete, if you don't make it to the end. Um, you know, if you if I don't go down that staircase by the time the song ends, it just you know you just get shot down to the next. Where do you see anyway. the timer? There's no timer. It's just oh, but it is on a time limit. It is, yeah, right. yeah. It's just when the song ends. You're taking a lot of time. I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got to collect all this stuff from Freddie. All right, uh, yeah, Freddie over here. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Merchant Tree. Yeah. Now I can go down. If I make it, I think I might get uh, sent down anyway. But it's you know I'd recommend it. It's not very expensive. I think it was like <laughs> I think I got it on sale. Uh, for like less than five dollars, so definitely worth checking out. Um, uh, good soundtrack, kind of good the graphics, are you know they're pixely, but there's still a lot of detail in there for pixels. Um, I found something, a secret room. Uh oh, oh yeah, this thing I think is gonna do me in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I make it out of here. <laughs> the ice dragon. Maybe I'm not doing very well though. I should be moving. No, I I killed him. What? I don't, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> I thought he beat me. <laughs> the bat will get you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't remember killing that guy. Something gets me though. Um, so when you're moving, does it let you like you're, you're holding the button to move and it just moves when the beat goes? No, you have to tap you on have the beat. To tap. Yep. Okay. And if you tap off beat, you'll uh, miss Not your move. multiplier. Yeah. And then you you lose that uh, you know your whatever enemy multiplier you get from killing all the enemies. Song ended. Next level. Yeah. You, so now I'm down here. Um, find some ring in there I guess some little ghost thing that I'm trying to figure out how to kill I don't think I do I think this is where uh, this level I think does me in oh I, <laughs> was I that a trap on, yeah I stepped on some spikes I didn't know what that was <laughs> I don't know if I'd seen that before um, 
They did. I think they actually came up with an expansion for this uh, relatively recently that unlocks um, uh, some new characters. Are you still low in the game? Like, are you still like on the lower level? Oh yeah, this is. I've, I don't think I've made it out of uh, level one dash three. <laughs> I'm. Um, I play. I played this for a couple hours here Trap and there. Door. Yeah. You're not good at those traps. No. <laughs> well, you, I'm not. I don't have a very good sense of rhythm. Well, now I'm done. <laughs> I don't have a sense of rhythm. And now that uh, that skeleton's got a good sense of rhythm, he's doing some dances over my corpse. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good it's a good game. I'd <laughs> I'd check it out um, if you can. And I think what'd you bring? Uh, Val Valkyria, Valkyria Chronicles Four. Yep. So this is a this is a role playing game as well. <laughs> Another one. But uh, so you gotta strategically you have to hide behind the the barricade stuff like that. You know to. To get good shots on the enemy, or, the, or they'll obviously see you and they can shoot back at you without anything blocking you from their bullets. So uh, you also get to drive the tanks in the game. So I'm driving the tank here, and I'm gonna crush some barricades. <laughs> That's good. And you can use your tank to crush the barricades, so they can't hide uh, hide behind them, and then you can shoot them better too. This is a tank fight right here. I mean, so I'm just lining up my tank. Now, if you shoot the tank in the back where the red is, it, it's it's uh, more damaging. So, so there's like st strategic points to it as well. Different abilities per character. You have like a sniper, you have like a regular infantry guy, and then you have your tank. And it's all, you, they all, all have their own abilities and stuff. So Ooh. you'll see here, I'm just lining up the tank, reading some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, trying to figure <laughs> Telling out. Telling me how to shoot the machine guns and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's like a sort of like shell, cell shading graphics a little. Yeah. It looks pretty good. The graphics are pretty different, like, but it, but they're good, yeah. Yeah. They just got me, I think. Uh, the sound effects I like. <laughs> grr. Yeah, grr. It's floom. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like kind of turn-based a little. It looks. Yep. So that yeah. So here we go. I gotta end my turn, and then it goes to the enemy. My turn is over. Enemy phase, and it does that a lot. There's little animations and stuff that happen between the levels too that are pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I like it. It's it's uh, it's pretty fun. Mm. So you shoot that blue thing right there. They're trying to show me, but I'm not paying attention, so I don't shoot that blue thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear as day. Shoot that blue thing. Yep, that's okay. At least you'll never forget that now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Aim for the blue. <laughs> This do, this isn't even out yet. This is just like a demo. But oh. uh, based on the demo, I mean, I gave it an eight, which is a uh, pretty good score. If you like uh, RPGs, you like strategy, this is worth a shot. Um, I don't even think the first three came out here. They were only available in Japan, hmm. if I'm right. I think because I've never heard of it. But I was like, all right, I got to give this a try. Yeah, I've never I never heard of it either. But uh, I haven't heard of a lot of games, so it doesn't say much. Break some get barricades, get in there. <laughs> uh, it's good you try. I thought you were gonna expose your uh, your blue thing there. <laughs> uh, see what happens. So yeah, it goes in the map overview, so you can see everything on the stage that's happening. Where are all your other? Ca if I had more characters right now, they'd be on there. So if you could have like other people in your party that are actually, so you could you would also walk around as a character too from time to time. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah move your characters around strategically on the field and like you can like sabotage the enemy by making them chase one character and have two behind them you know <laughs> so it works out it's, it's it's really one of the better strategy games i've played yeah oh there you go it's the radiator <laughs> <laughs> it, it does it looks interesting i don't know if i've uh i'm gonna have to check it out is it only for xbox no i think it's for ps4 xbox i don't know if it's for the pc though I, I won! Nice. I won! <laughs> yep. So, um, let's see. Anyone else want to try? Oh yeah, now there's a little scene, but I like the scenes like this. It's very, very, uh, you know, look at the Japanese, <laughs> the anima Japanese animation here is pretty good. It is. Good facial expressions. Uh, it is pretty good. Raz. Oh. <laughs> they didn't stand a chance. <laughs> couple things coming out like this week is uh halo the master chief collection is coming to game pass nice um humans fall flat online edition came to uh, uh xbox game pass 
Yeah, and um, and then uh, Strange Brigade came out, which I want to try, and uh, Shenmue, which I'm playing now. Mm -hmm. So I'll have some video for that, you know, in a couple weeks, and uh, hopefully something else. I think Tomb Raider is coming out very soon too, but that could be three or four weeks away. Oh yeah. The new Shadow of the Tomb Raider that looks really good. Yeah, you'd think that she's going to be getting uh, kind of evil in the next yeah. few games. So yeah, we'll see. I think they, uh, they say it's not your usual Lara, so hmm. <laughs> we'll see. It'll be interesting. Yeah, I think I might have gotten. Uh, I think I might have picked up Human Fall Flat in one of those. Uh, <laughs> another one of those humble bundles. I oh think. yeah, yeah, yeah. I That's a it. fun game. I played. I played it single player, but having two people to play it will be fun. Mm. Multiplayer on there. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> Yeah, it should be fun. I was that wasn't a bad game. I played through a little bit of it, not much, but a little. I don't know what I'll bring next week. Um, I'll have to scour through and see what I have that looked interesting and and maybe uh, um, not very uh, you know heard about on the uh, online. Something, yeah, something yeah. maybe a little obscure. I'll All right. Around. Well, then we'll uh, we'll see you next. We'll see you in a couple weeks, actually. So, uh, catchphrase. Awesome. <laughs> The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.